I'm Chad Douglas continuing our Connect to Congress initiative with Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri. Senator, thank you for joining us. Just before the end of the year, Congress passed the tax reform law and President Trump signed it into law. What is this going to mean for Missourians? You know, I think it's going to mean a lot, and I really think our friends on the other side heavily overloaded themselves on the level of uh, their voices and the uh, inaccuracy of their information. You know, is this going to be the worst thing that ever happened? Nobody's going to benefit except big corporations. And we see that that's not what's happening at all. You know, in a growing economy, workers are valued. We've already had uh, a number of companies uh, indicate bonuses. They're normally around $1,000 uh, per person. Usually, if they're restricted at all, they're restricted to people who uh, aren't uh, in management people who make $75,000 or less, but a million workers are going to get a billion dollars worth of bonuses that have already been announced. Other places have announced they're raising whatever their minimum level of pay was because they want to compete uh, for more people in a growing economy. I think we're going to see uh, people suddenly realize, hey, this is really something that impacts me family of four that makes $73,000, you're going to see a little more than $2,000 less coming out of your check this year than came out of your check last year. Single parent makes $41,000, one child, going to have a tax cut of $1,300 a year, uh, which is about a 70% reduction in the taxes you were paying. So, you know, people hear the talking heads that say $100 a month, $200 a month, that really doesn't matter at all or doesn't mean anything. Let me tell you, $100 a month or $200 a month means a lot if you don't have it. If it's what you spend for a night out and a meal, maybe that doesn't sound like a lot to you, uh, but uh, working families need the kind of relief this is going to give them immediately and the better jobs it's going to give them in the future. And just a couple of days ago, President Trump signed an executive order to expand broadband internet to rural parts of the country. How will this affect Missourians and how soon do you think we'll see this happen? I think it's the way we uh, compete uh, and how we compete and whether you can compete living everywhere in America or just a few places in America. So rural broadband, very important. I think the national number, about 36% of rural Americans don't have access to high-speed broadband. It's higher than that uh, in Missouri, and it's been one of my issues I've worked on a long time. I was glad to see the president announce uh, some expedited procedures for tower siting on government property and on government buildings uh, to try to make it easier, quicker, and cheaper uh, to get the towers up you need to have the access you need to broadband wherever you live. Senator Blunt, we appreciate your time, sir.